This episode is dedicated to Hamda Alkaja. Rusty Quill presents. The Magnus Protocol. Episode 23, A New Year. Problems? Just a broken pencil. I see. And what exactly is this you're working on, anyway? Just some response department paperwork. You are aware that the response department hasn't existed for some years now? Well, yes, but... uh... I'm afraid it looks like our colleagues are entertaining themselves at your expense. Sorry? I've seen this with other new hires. Some ill-conceived initiation, right? Alice is doing, I suspect. Okay. Uh, thanks for the heads up. What I am trying to say, Sam, is that this paperwork is unnecessary. Meaningless. I understand. But I think I might see how far down the rabbit hole goes. If it is Alice. I am sure it is. I want to see how long she can keep it up for. So long as it doesn't interfere with your work. Oh, I'm doing it strictly off the clock. (laughs) It's actually sort of comforting in a way, you know? I can assure you I don't. Uh, There's just something very zen about filling in pointless forms now and then. I see. Well, as engrossing as this must be for you, I believe your shift has started. Sam. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Forum thread, updates and live posting, registered by A.L. Newman, 86, 206, 18, 1927. Post number one, finding my peace, 206, 18, 1931. Hey all, A here. First off, thank you so much for all the help over these past few months. I can't express how insightful, patient and open-minded this community has been. I never thought I'd find others willing to help me create a better me like this. So, sincerely, thank you. Anyway, I'm going to be documenting my journey here and wanted to start by asking how you all went about finding your peace. I've been thinking it over for a while now. I even caught myself saying it to myself in the bathroom mirror at work. Someone overheard me and thought I was talking about finding peace, like inner peace, and asked if I was meditating. Kind of ironic, really but I don't think they'd get the joke. Anyway, I'd love to know how others found their peace. Or, I guess my question is more, does it matter? Should it be important? Should it be meaningful? Should it be random? Am I overthinking it? Looking for thoughts and advice. I'm going to take this all the way, so we'll take all the help I can get. 43 likes. Zero comments. Post number two. Found it. A.L. Newman, 86. 13.07.18.18.52 I think I found it. My peace. Maybe I knew where it was all along. I'm a bit worried though, because to get it I have to be a bit... sneaky? Nothing too bad, but I'm nervous. There's this restaurant I eat at all the time, or rather I used to eat at all the time, and I guess it's significant to me. It was where I said yes after Anthony proposed, 
Those who have read some of my previous posts know how that turned out, but it's also where I first realized that I had to do this. They have this massive aquarium, and I remember just suddenly realizing how serene everything was inside. The water was crystal blue, and at the bottom there it was. Vibrant, electric almost, and so very much alive. God knows how they got it all through customs. I remember the first night coming home after that. Anthony was snoring beside me, and I couldn't stop thinking about that aquarium. I didn't really know what I was searching for. I didn't know how to articulate it. It's a feeling I'm sure many of us here know very well. And so, as I tried to unfold my thoughts, I stumbled upon... Well, you guys. Smiley face. So, yeah, that's going to be my piece. I've already spoken to a waiter who's agreed to let me in the back tomorrow night after closing, while they're cleaning up the kitchen. I have my container, and I've read all the steps in the how-to forum. I just wanted you all to be here with me to experience it, so... Wish me luck. 28 likes. Zero comments. Post number three. I think I'm just about ready. A.L. Newman, 86. 14, 07, 18, 20, 48. I'm parked in across the street, waiting for the last customers, thinking about what this place meant to me back then. What would have happened if things had been different? Not that I'd have it any other way. His voice was so loud for so long it drowned me out of my own life. I wonder if any of you have felt it, the way other people try to convince us that we can better ourselves by being more like what they want. But we can become someone new, someone better, someone the pain can't touch. Anthony would never understand the difference. He couldn't. I wonder how many people in that restaurant right now are still stuck like I was. I'm just killing time, so happy to chat it through if anyone wants. At least until the waiter arrives. 13 likes. Zero comments. Post number 4. I think I'm just about ready, dash 2. A.L. Newman, 86, 15, 07, 18, 20, 37. I can't believe it, my heart is still racing. I've never done anything like this before. Never stolen, never cheated. I feel alive for the first time in my life. I'm staring at my piece right now. It's on my desk. I want to keep it warm. I'm going to sleep holding it tonight like you all suggested, so it's properly bonded with me before tomorrow. It is... Safe, right? Uh, of course it is, I'm overthinking it. We'll be back tomorrow, right before the full moon. 34 likes, zero comments. Post number 5, first cut. A.L. Newman, 86, 16, 07, 18, 19, 22. Took today off work, sleeping beside the coral, my coral, my peace. I slept better than any night next to Antony, better than any night ever. The best sleep of my life. I'm so ready to be whole. I even had a dream last night. I was back at the restaurant looking at the aquarium while Anthony prattled on. I was staring aimlessly at the lights, the colourful stones, the green of the moss on the stones that hugged the coral, when all of a sudden I was alone. And I was afraid. I span my head around, looking for Antony, for the waiter, for anyone. Then I saw her, on the other side of the aquarium. We locked eyes for just a moment. Like I said, I want to share every part of this for anyone who wants to follow in my steps. I know some of you like the dream interpretation part of it, and I wanted to share. But I'm ready. I have my rubber gloves, I've sanitized the scalpel as LaserCat23 suggested. I have a clean working surface, bags, bandages, and my sewing kit for after, and I am nervous. I know what I need to do, and I know it will all be worth it. We'll update right after. Here we go. 35 likes, zero comments. Post number six, first cut, dash update. A.L. Newman, 86, 16, 07, 18. 2117. I'm a bit out of it, but I promised I would update. Feeling a bit woozy, but it's done. My thigh bled a lot more than I expected. You were right, Burnt Umber J. I have tomorrow off, but I have to go back to work while she starts to grow. I can't wait. I can see her under my rippled skin.
waiting to grow. She's perfect. She's everything I wish I could have been. Fifteen likes. Zero comments. Post number seven. My secret. A.L. Newman, 86, 26, 07, 18, 15, 34. I've been at work for a week now and it's so different. It was difficult to go back to normal, knowing she was inside me, but here I am, actually sat at my desk with her pressing against my thigh skin. I keep catching myself, running my fingers under my skirt just to feel her pressing up beneath my skin, living, breathing polyps gently moving through my leg, a life that I hold within my body and nurture. Anthony would never have understood. It's not the same as some squealing baby. I'm so glad he's gone, and like you've all said, she and I, we're becoming one, and then two. 45 likes, zero comments. Post number eight, my secret dash update one, A.L. Newman, 86, 18, 08, 18, 22, 03. Hey all, I know it's been a few weeks since I updated. I'm in the early parts of stage two, and I'm here to confirm it is terrifying started with my feet. I noticed in the shower one day that I couldn't feel the hot water on them. It was so strange at first, but I knew what was happening thanks to your advice. It's up to my waist now. No feeling whatsoever. I'm on bereavement leave from work for the next bit. Then I have some vacation days saved up. I have the humidifiers set high, the curtains are taped shut, and everything I need is within reach. I know any day now my second stage will properly begin. I'm terrified. I'm exhilarated. It's really happening. Wish me luck. 54 likes. Zero comments. Post number 9. My secret dash update 2. A.L. Newman, 86, 27, 08, 18, 10, 13. It started. Last night I heard it while laying in bed. It's exactly as described. I couldn't feel a thing. Nothing. But then the skin broke with such a distinct sound, like cutting a half-inflated football. Then I saw the red blossom out through the white sheets. She's so beautiful, bright pink and radiant, the coral polyps blooming and scattering from the broken flesh over my feet and legs with such an incredible smell, like seawater, sand and copper. It's slow, though, much slower than I would have thought. Oh, and I managed to rent a paralysis computer. Great suggestion again, Burnt Humper J. So I should be able to keep everyone updated as planned, even when my arms start to go. I cannot express how great it is to finally see her, to finally meet her out in the world at last. 62 likes, zero comments. Post number 10, Am I Dreaming? A.L. Newman, 86, 30, 08, 18, 08, 19. I had the dream again. I was in the restaurant. I was alone, and I met her eyes. She was me. She was with me that first night. She was always with me. But now she's arrived. She's here. I'm awake. She has my eyes. 61 likes, zero comments. Post number 11, she's almost here. A.L. Newman, 86, 01, 09, 18, 9, 04. Last night I watched my stomach unzip. The skin stretched, then tore cleanly. There was only the blood. It was beautiful, but it took forever. I keep thinking of this life I'm leaving behind. I'd love her to keep my name but I don't know if she will. I know I shouldn't be, but I'm scared. 68 likes, zero comments. Post number 12, she's almost here, dash two. A.L. Newman, 86, 01, 09, 18, 18, 33. I'm having difficulty swallowing fluids now. My skin is wet with sweat and mold. Alasis Newman is leaving this world and whatever comes next, though she may look like me in some ways, though she may carry a part of me with her, she'll be better, free of all my mistakes. Perhaps people will like her more than me. 
I already like her more than me. I want to see her walk off happy and strong. I hope she doesn't feel this now. Just be the good parts of me. I hope it's like I dreamt. I hope she has my eyes. 71 likes, zero comments. Post number 13, Alasis Newman Final, A.L. Newman, 86, 03, 09, 18, 02, 22. Riding with my eyes now, the last parts of me float away. She lays where I lay, but she is not me. She is strong. She is graceful. She is bright in mind and color, and I love her more than I thought I could love anything. I want you all to know, before my skull pulls apart, you were 515 likes, 37 comments. Post number 14, untitled, A.L. Newman, 86, 030118, 02.27. Deleted by moderators, 030118, 02.28. This isn't right. There's something wrong. Something wrong with her. I don't. Help me. Zero likes. Zero comments. Thread locked by better than you. 1207. Oh, great. You've got me started. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Anything good tonight? Another evil toy. It's like six this week. I'd give you my weirdo ones if I could. No, oh, thanks. Mm. Speaking of, did you have any luck? Hmm? Those names I gave you. You find anything? Nothing useful. Jonathan Sims is pretty generic as names go. And I didn't have much luck with Martin Blackwood either. Hmm. There were two that were close to the right age. But? But they died. Separately, nearly 20 years ago. Cycling accident and some kind of heart thing. No connection to the Magnus Institute. As far as I can tell, they never even met. Where'd you say you'd found them? A couple of old documents. I must have got the wrong end of the stick. I've had a bit of luck elsewhere, though. Oh, yeah? I think I found the right Basira Hussain. And I have a lead on a Helen. Richardson? That's the one. Fantastic. When can we go talk to them? Okay, hold your horses. Don't. Shh. Care to join? I'm fine. Glad to hear it. Gwen, it's okay if you need a bit of help now you're back on cases. I said I'm fine. Told you. All right then. Shall we? God, yes. <laughs> so, I hear you're back to your normal, pleasant... Oh. Ah. Uh. I'm fine. I dropped my mug. I can see that. I had a favourite mug. It said, love you bitch, and had a picture of a drunk dog on it. Luke got it me with the cash from his first gig. Sam broke it by accident last month. I nearly <laughs> fed him the pieces. Is it really that bad being back in the muck with the rest of us? It's not that. Oh yeah? You wouldn't understand. Probably not. But I'm as good as you're going to get here. Especially when you keep biting everyone's heads off. Lena. She's been sending me out to deal with people. Things. Okay. And, well, they're... Weird. Weird like a lobster in a hat? Weird, or... I think I have an idea where our cases are coming from. What are you saying, Gwen? I thought maybe we were meant to be documenting them, keeping them monitored or under control, but... But then the externals started turning up in the caseload after I gave them instructions, and... 
Last time it was this tattooist. I was meant to be recruiting them, only things didn't go well, Alice. They went bad. Very bad. Go on. They... It, well, it turned on me. And I mean really turned on me. It was going to kill me, Alice. It killed someone right in front of me, and I was... It was ready for me next. But but then another showed up. Another what? Another thing. Another external. At least I think it was. They faced off, and I ran. God. What did the police say? What are you talking about? The police? Uh, Alice, this wasn't some random mugging. These things, they're awful. Horrific. They aren't human. And Lena knows this? <laughs> oh, she knows. She just doesn't care enough to warn us. You don't believe me? After what I've seen here over the years, no, I am totally ready to believe Lena would rather hire literal monsters than pay a decent wage. Sorry. No wonder you've been so arsy. I've not been arsy. So this other external, why did it intervene? I don't know. But like, how did you know it was an external? Because I know how many eyes a regular human is supposed to have. Just stood there holding this old tape recorder and... What? What is it? Tape recorder? Yes. You're sure? Of course I'm sure. Are you not listening to me? I just told you Lena has been hiring supernatural monsters and you're asking about a cassette player of all things. Shut up. Don't you dare tell me to shut up, Alice. Wait, I think we're in danger. That's what I've been trying to say for the last five no, minutes. listen. That tape thing. This isn't the first time I've... What? I think they might be after us. All of us. Alice, what are we going to do? I don't know. Magnus Protocol is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is created by Jonathan Sims and Alexander J. Newell and directed by Alexander J. Newell. This episode was written by Harlan Guthrie and edited with additional materials by Jonathan Sims and Alexander J. Newell with vocal edits by Nico Vitesse, soundscaping by Meg McKellar, and mastering by Catherine Rinella, with music by Sam Jones. It featured Billy Hindle as Alice Dyer, Shahan Hamza as Samama Khalid, Anuja Battersby as Gwen Bouchard, Lorianne Davis as Celia Ripley, Sarah Lambie as Lena Kelly, with additional voices from Jonathan Sims. The Magnus Protocol is produced by April Sumner, with executive producers Alexander J. Newell, Danny McDonough, Lynn C., and Samantha F. G. Hamilton, and associate producers Jordan L. Hawke, Taylor Michaels, Nicole Perlman, Cetia Sturaven, and Megan Nice. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit RustyQuill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at the Rusty Quill, visit us on Facebook, or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Thanks for listening. Hey all, Harlan Guthrie here, writer of the episode you just heard. I really hope you liked this episode. If you did, let people know. No reason to keep it to yourself. If I did a good job at creeping you out, or you're just morbidly curious enough to want to listen to more of my work, consider checking out some of my other shows. Regardless of which, you can listen to each of them by following the links in the show notes below, or you can find them all at RustyQuill.com. Since Malevolent is arguably the most popular, here's a little taste of what it sounds like. I can't see anything. No.
I have your eyes now, Arthur. Some things are best left alone. Shut the book, shut the book! Your partner is dead, and we need to hide the body now. I can hear something moving in the back. I don't think we're alone here. What are you doing? You're killing him. You're killing him. <laughs> what are you? But I call it love. Anyway, consider checking them out. And I really hope you enjoyed this episode. That's all for now. See you soon.